Hey guys, it's your boy. It's a beautiful rainy day. What's up guys? It's your boy Jacory Neil, aka J Neil Official, and today you are watching my quarantine vlog. Um, this is not like any other vlog. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make some brownies. So, uh, yeah, let's hop on into that. Ready? Here we go. So, uh, we had just pre-put some canola oil, I, I mean, uh, vegetable oil, into the, uh, thing. You know, I'm good with my cooking terminology, don't judge me. And, uh, you know, we're just rubbing it in here, making sure that it does not get all, uh, sticky or anything. Making sure you got a lather it in there. And, uh, so yeah, we're done with that at the moment. So, According to the box, it says here, uh, preheat oven, 325 degrees. And that's already preheated, it says 325 right there. So, uh, Chef J. Neal is out here uh, doing some stuff. What, what are we gonna do? Um, <laughs> it says one, one fourth cup of water. Uh, let me get that real quick. Don't worry about that. One. Oh, that's all it takes. Just a tad bit of water. That's all. Oh, so, where's my little bowl at? Got that. Got some water. Put it in there like this. One for a cup of water. We got that. So what else we need? It says I uh, need some. Uh... Wait, hold up. I like. It. We gotta. We gotta. Don't put one fourth cup of water. We actually gotta take the mix. I think we gotta put it in there first. We yeah, we gotta put the brownie mix in there first. <laughs> so we gotta go ahead and open up the brownie mix. And uh stay with me. Stay with me, guys. Open up the brownie mix. As you can see, the box is filled with cocoa powder and not brownie powder. Um we're gonna go ahead and uh cut this up a little quick. Cut that. Go ahead and cut that open like, like so. Ah, so now, now what we do is we want to go ahead and doesn't doesn't say how much brownie powder we need. Brownie. Hi, right, it doesn't say how much, so we're just gonna pop a little bit in there. Hold up. Okay. Alright, that should be There's little choco balls. Oh, those are walnuts. So there's one <laughs> there's walnuts already in here. And uh, we got the walnuts in in here. They, they come in the I, I think they're walnuts. Um so now we add one fourth cup of water. That looks about right. Uh we gotta no, I put like one half. Two thirds cups of water. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. Let's make sure you have enough. Now we're gonna add some of the vegetable oil. It should be one, one, one third cup of water of vegetable oil, which is right here. Make sure you get your one third cup. I'm gonna take the vegetable oil, put it in there nice and gentle. Make sure you fill it up all the way as much as you can. Drop that in there like that. Just plop it in there like that. Hope you have a nice view on this. Okay, uh, looks probably about. Probably looks pretty good. Um, now what you want to do is you want to put the lid back on this guy. You want to um, take some cocoa powder, and uh, this is specifically a Hershey's cocoa powder, not sponsored. But, uh, I don't know if you saw it, but it's Hershey's cocoa powder. Mmm, smells like Hershey's chocolate. It smells absolutely amazing. It smells great. Okay, uh, what are we doing? Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, I need to, uh, I need to put a little bit in here. 
and just found some extra vegetable oil we don't have to worry about. It. So it says here we need one fourth cocoa powder. I'm gonna just scoop this up. Oh my god. Just got one, 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 one thing. Can you stop snapping at me from behind the camera? Then get out of my vlog. Thank you very much. I'm, this is my ground. This is my crazy show. We got cocoa powder. Put it in there. We want it to be very chocolatey. These have to be very chocolatey. Um, so, Hershey's powder. Make sure you get that in there. Uh, put it in there. Put the best boil. Put the water. Oh, now we have to get the egg. Okay. Um, yeah, I gotta get the egg. So, what you wanna call me? <laughs> so, in order to get the egg, just wanna crack it. Oh, God. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Okay. 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 Oh. Um, just gonna wash the hands a little bit. That's all it takes. Um. Make sure you don't you don't want to plop the egg in there like that because that that really messes with the consistency of the brownie. But uh, <clears throat> so what you do is now you're gonna take your magic whisk. Yeah, you want to take your magic whisk and you want to whisk it in there like so. That's a, you want to just whisk it in there. But you don't want to be too dry. If you feel like you need to add more stuff, you should add more water, I think. If you don't think that's enough, which does not look like enough, you should not add more water. You should add a little bit of, tad bit of everything. This is not going to cut it. We're going to need more than this. Therefore, I'm adding another one fourth cup of water. Just going to add that in there. That, add, that makes it a little bit thicker. I'm adding another, uh, where is that? Where is it? Where, oh, adding some more vegetable oil. I'm gonna put this in here, like so. You just wanna just dump it in there like that. And then also to help compensate, I'm gonna add some more cocoa powder, just so that you, just so that you have enough. Just so that it's enough. Oh God. I'm just in the Put that there. And you don't want to make as big of a mess, but you can, you can have a tiny mess. You want to add some more cocoa powder. This is one fourth cup of cocoa powder. And you want to cap that up real quick, like so. Um, then you want to you want to add one one extra egg. I don't know if you knew this. But if you, in order to make, this has nothing to do with brownies. But if you want to make scrambled egg, instead of having to whisk it in a bowl, you take the egg, right? And you shake it. I don't know if you can hear that. I, I want y'all to hear this real quick. Listen, listen. Yeah, so if you take the egg, what it's doing, it's doing the exact same thing as if you were to be whisking it. So therefore, then you just crack it out and you have, you can put it in, you, get, you got your eggs all scrambled. So, while we're letting this sit, we're gonna add one more egg. Gonna add one more egg. See, do that like a boss. Don't need no help. Boom, crack that in there. Now I'm just gonna set that egg right here. What you're doing, we're gonna start whisking again. So as we're whisking, uh, you just wanna keep it whisking so make sure it's nice, fl frothy, and fluffy. You don't wanna have too much. Hope y'all see this. Because we want these, we want these to be nice and fluffy. And wait, so we want you want you want it to be almost like a oh we didn't add we didn't compensate for the brownie mix. That's what we forgot. You gotta add more brownie mix. You gotta add more brownie mix. Because when it gets too watery, you don't want that you don't want that effect. So right now you see how it's real watery. Just add some more brownie mix and it should make it get that thick consistency. It should look like batter. Not like never mind. But whisk that in there. Mmm, I can smell the cocoa powder and the frostiness. It's gonna be real nice. Real nice. We should have this should be like uh get it straight from the sides. I don't know. 
how thick the batter should be. It's probably not it. Gotta add more brownie mix. Just gotta add a little bit more brownie mix just to make sure that it's nice and thick. You don't want it too thick, but since there's almonds in here, you just gotta have it so you have that good, nice consistency. <clears throat> this is how we do here. This is how we do here. There we go. We're starting to get a little bit thicker. I don't know if you guys can see here. Trying to get that thickness to it. At least I hope. It's supposed to be happy having the thickness to it. If you don't have the thickness to it, then that means you did something wrong. Just want to whisk this up nice and good. There you go. Drop a couple of those walnuts out. So now what we want to do is uh, add some more brownie mix. And uh, because it's not, because you want to add more of the dry material, it's good. You want to add more of that dry material if it's not cooking right. So that has that uh, frosting-like consistency. Until it gets there, you should, should be pretty cool. You should be pretty cool. Um, this is, like I said, this is my first time. First time at everything, which means you should try new things. Try new things. That is what I tell all my subscribers. Try new things. Hey, while I'm at it, I, I don't know if you saw my last video, but I have a goal that I'm trying to reach for. And my goal is at least 1,000 subscribers by the end of this month. So if you want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. Yeah, so you want to keep whisking until you have a nice, a nice consistency. It's starting to get a little bit more thicker if you see that. Gonna be too thick. I'm just gonna add a tad bit more, not too much. I'm gonna just use the whole bag. Um that 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 whole point it says it says to use a certain amount. It does not say this is just for the pan size, but so what you want to do is want to go ahead and whisk all this up. Now this should give you a nice frosting like you want, you want them to be fudgy brownies, right? You don't want like excess, not real good brownies. You want this to be real fudgy. You want it to have a nice consider. There, that is what I'm talking about. You see the difference now? Now the difference that this makes is, ah, uh, smells absolutely chocolatey. This is exactly what you want to go for. Perfect, that is absolutely perfect. And so, uh, I'm not gonna do that. Um, so, a little thing that I do like to add into my videos is, hold on, let me check this out. Uh, can't go wrong without some Hershey chocolate. So, uh, we just open this bad boy up. Add the Hershey chocolate in here. This is nice dark Hershey chocolate. So, this is a fresh thing I should have put. Oh, it's crunched up like that, but uh, I don't know if you can, can the camera see it. Can you see the chocolate? So what we're doing is just gonna... It's frozen chocolate. <laughs> it's frozen chocolate, so uh, we're gonna just have like these little pieces in there. Frozen a frozen chocolate. I wish I could really know how to do this, but uh, I need y'all to bear with me on today. <clears throat> so uh, I'm just breaking up the pieces of chocolate as you can see. And we're gonna. I just cut myself with a piece of chocolate. Right. Just, <laughs> just add, breaking up some chocolate. Putting it in here, making sure everything is nice and fine. There we go. There we go. There we go. I have not two, two different pieces. So I don't know if you guys saw, but uh, now we're gonna take our mix that we have, and we're gonna go ahead and put this in, in here. This should be enough for a really nice batch. That is absolutely perfect and amazing, as you can see. As you can see, this, this is looking absolutely amazing. When you add the air in there, it makes it very fluffy. So now what you wanna do, you just want to take some things of chocolate. You just want to go ahead and drop it in there. So now you have nice little pieces of chocolate. 
at certain parts. You don't have to use all of it. You want some? You can have some. Have a piece. Go ahead. Go ahead. Have a piece. That's the little bro. It's little bro decide. You can come on in if you want. It's little bro decide. So you want to add some little pieces of chocolate in there? Who could have a piece? Yeah, you sure can. Here, take a piece. Take a piece. Go ahead. Just, just take. Just come here and take a piece. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Take it forever. All right, there you go. Just add some chocolate in there. Throw it to different places. You already know. You already know how it is. Yeah, if you want to add a little rose, some little rose and stuff, that's how we do. That is exactly how we do. Mm. But to really make this good, you have to add more chocolate. We're using Reese's chocolate. Nice little frozen boy. I'm going to go ahead and drop that in there like so. Go ahead and drop this in there like so. Put this in here. This. Now these these brownies are going to be very fudgy. They're going to have a fudgy consistency to it. And that's exactly what we're looking for. Nothing too big. Nothing too big. So now we're going to put these in the oven. We're going to let these. Go on if you sit for about 20 30 minutes. Real? <laughs> Hold on. Don't let these sit. Okay guys, I am back. It has been about 30 something minutes and we're gonna go ahead and check out this bad boy. Oh yeah, oh. Just the aroma. The aroma is just absolutely. If you guys could smell what I'm smelling right now, you'd be like, oh my gosh, Victoria. Oh my gosh, J. New Official. That is amazing. This is, this is great. This is burnt. This is, uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be that dark. The I, don't, I don't know. Did you use dark chocolate? That's probably the cocoa pepper. That is one chocolate, 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 chocolate brownie. Um, this is. Die! <laughs> <laughs> Good job, right? Uh, yeah, thanks. So, we finally cut our brownie. It has now cooled down. So, uh, yeah, I'm getting ready to cut this, John. And, uh,. Yeah, let's see how I can cut this. I'll probably cut it to about five rows. I'm gonna just go ahead and go ahead and do this. Ooh, nice cuts. That's one cut. My very, like I said, this is my very first time making brownies. So, uh, yeah, if you guys ever need a chef at any of your parties or anything like that, uh, I'm up for hire. So y'all should totally uh, come find me. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be there at your next party. We make a gift together. You got a kid's birthday party, I'll be there. You got a wife's birthday party, I'll be there. You got a divorce party, I'll be there. You name it. Um, but you know, I'm just uh, out here making the good brownies. This, these are the official brownies, the J New official brownies. You can't go wrong with these, Johns. I can tell you that right now. So there we go, just cutting this jaw up. Boom. I'm gonna go ahead and take out a piece of this. Let me try it. I'm gonna try to take out a nice piece of this brown right here. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Look at that. Look, just, can mm. you, you see that? Yeah. Look at that walnut. See that walnut in there? Yeah, raise it up. See how dark it is? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and try this real quick. Ready? I'm gonna tell you how to do it. I hope that's not funny. Wait, <laughs> wait I, didn't, I was like, it looks like garbage. Uh, ready? Moment we all been waiting for. And it's garbage. Good, right? Cat try? Don't start, please. Cool. 
Come on, just leave, just come on. Come on, bro, let's go. Turn with two minutes. I think it's pretty bomb. Mm -hmm. What did you do? Mm -hmm. after you after a little after bit of salt. Yeah, <laughs> salt there. Mm -hmm. After I just made this, John, I think it's really good. But uh, anyway, I think that concludes my vlog for the day. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I want you guys to please subscribe. Remember, we're trying to reach the goal of a thousand subscribers. Please help me reach that by the end of this month. And uh, I'll see you guys this Friday, hopefully. I might have a video I'm posting. Uh, it most likely will be a cover video. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Jay Official out.